Welcome back to the Georgia Dome in Atlanta game two of the Atlanta Regional Semifinal. The Fighting Illini against the top seeded Blue Devils of Duke. Earlier tonight here in Atlanta, a thrilling game. Xavier, Xavier advanced 79-71 over Texas. They'll meet the winner of this one on Sunday afternoon. Bruce Weber, first year as head coach at Illinois. Here's his starting lineup brought to you by Pontiac, Augustine, Powell, Williams, D. Brown, and Luther Head. Mike Krzyzewski in his 24th season as the head coach at Duke, coaching his 800th game. And his lineup brought to you by Pontiac. Ding, Williams, Duhon, J.J. Reddick, and Daniel Ewing. Duhon playing with bruised ribs in his lower right back. The officials tonight, John Cahill, David Libby, and Mark Whitehead. And the winner of this one, this much-anticipated matchup between the ACC and the Big 12, will go up against Xavier. And Vermont was two goes. Minute, minute. A lot of motion offense by Illinois. Backdoor cut underneath the dish to Augustine, and the first basket of night goes to the Illini. They do a nice job screening, back screening, getting to the rim. D. Brown picks up Duhon. Big question, how long can he go tonight? How much pain will he find himself in, in the corner? There's the kick and a fresh 35 as contact made by Illinois. And when they really spread the floor on you, uh, you've got a lot of way to run if you're Illinois. The ability to turn the corner is something that I think you'll see from Duhon. He looked pretty spry in warm-ups. There's J.J. Redick. Had a bad shooting slump in the ACC tournament. Seems to have gotten out of that in the NCAAs. One of the great pure shooters in college basketball. And here's Redick. They run a lot of bumps for him. He's going to have to do more of this. How about that? A little kiss by Redick. And Williams got out there a little bit late on the closeout and the ability to put it on the deck. Here you draw the D, and right here, you, once you hear that whistle, Vern, let it fly. Oh, how romantic. A little smooch early. And J.J. Reddick, over the course of the season, has missed exactly six free throws. 137 of 143. Oh are you kidding me? You are. I have seen him miss two this year now. It's, it must be you as D. Brown gets to the rim. The one-man fast break. Tough to stop, tough to contain. Reddick, the number two free throw shooter in the NCAA Division I ranks, missed that one. This one out of bounds. Well, nice, Illinois ball. Nice hands defensively by Illinois. They have started to play real solid basketball. A very confident team. The back of Darren Williams is one of those prototypes. He can play either side of the ball. Run the offense. He's their assist leader or play without the basketball. He's a tough matchup. Duhon goes for the steal. It's knocked out of bounds. Darren Williams uh, had a game for the ages against Cincinnati with 31 points. Duhon, as we mentioned, a couple of times uh, injured his ribs in the ACC championship game against Maryland when he ran into a stanchion for a television camera. Well, as we mentioned here, Williams, we can't give him those easy looks. Augustine with a nice rebound, but he looks very spry, Duhon. High pick and roll, Augustine. There's Williams, misses again. Augustine, another rebound. Fights for the ball, it comes down. Hell ball, possession arrow, Duke. Four two, an early lead for the Illini. Uh, the leadership qualities that uh, Mike wants in all his athletes is certainly exhibited by Chris Duhon. Yesterday in the workout, you can see Ms. Spry winced a little bit, inhaled, exhaled with some pain, but went through all the drills. And quite frankly, early in that little turnover, we'll get back to it. Two on one, here's Dang Williams. Nice touch. Luther head off the glass. That's where Darren Williams is so dangerous. Not only can he ring the bell, but the ability to draw the D and make a delivery. Uh, D. Brown a little early pressure on Duhon. This is Daniel Ewing, number five. Reddick, fadeaway jumper off the mark. Mentioned that shooting slump. He hit 9 of 30 in the ACC tournament. He's gotten it back, averaging 17 points in the two NCAA games. Augustine underneath. What a post pass by Williams to the correct hand. He told the big fella to just drop step and finish. And the Duke weak side defense was not apparent at all. Here's Cat Quick D. Brown picking up Chris Duhon. It's the sophomore against the senior. Reddick guarded by Williams. Entry pass. 
Sheldon Williams kicks it back outside. Ewing, spot up jumper, Candid. What a nice job acknowledging the double screen. Williams didn't do anything silly. Kicked it around the perimeter for the open look. 8-5, Illinois, early going. We've played just over three minutes. Nice Dang. Time. Here's Reddick. And Duhon. Duhon played 16 minutes in the first round game. That was the easy win over Alabama State. 32 minutes in the second. Let's revisit this Chris Duhon injury that is so much on everyone's mind. March 14th, Duke versus Maryland. He dives out of bounds for a loose ball and crashes into a camera. Duhon bruised his ribs and had to leave the game briefly. They've x-rayed him twice, no broken ribs, but severely bruised. Not as fluid, uh, it's painful on occasion. We'll see him during the course of the game. He wins a little bit, but they need his activity, certainly. He's a big plus on both ends of the floor. Nice Nick, look. Nick Smith at 7-2 is on the court now for the Illini. They got the steps prior. Pretty good find on Deng. Maybe one bounce, he could have done the same thing. Well, earlier tonight, we saw a Xavier team that had won 15 out of 16 advanced by defeating Texas. This Illinois team hoping that's a harbinger of things to come. They have won 14 of their last 15 games. There's another turnover. Duhon, the only loss for the Illini in the Big Ten championship game. They lost to Wisconsin. Dang for two. I'll tell you, not making many mistakes. At that time, Reddick didn't have the shot, kicked it on the perimeter. The big thing Mike Krzyzewski said in watching Illinois, they don't turn it over. They've had a couple now that have led to open floor opportunities, at least three total. Change that two to a three. He was beyond the arc, and we're tied at eight. Here's D. Brown back outside. Smith's got that shot. This one's short, and this might be Williams over the top. And that's one of the keys, I think. If you can get Sheldon Williams in foul trouble early. Oh, he's such a solid performer on both ends of the floor. He's their go-to guy. He makes the big guys work. Well, we've played four minutes and six seconds. We're notched. It's 8-8 eight, eight in Atlanta. I decided to make some serious changes. Now, chicken McNuggets are made with white meat. If they can change for the better, so can I. So just when I'm thinking, isn't there a car out there I could get excited about? Wham! There's this car with all this stuff. Then as I'm thinking, now here's a car I could see myself in. Wham! There's this other car with all this stuff. And just as I'm thinking, how could this possibly get me sweeter? The all-new Mazda 3 and Mazda 3 five-door. So, so. Rethink what's possible. I'm looking for something in the production operations management scheme. I'm educated and I'm experienced. I believe that any job that's worth doing is worth doing right the first time. I just got to just stop and have some dreams and then chase those dreams. Monster, today's the day. Is it true that you guys do more brake jobs than anyone else? Yes. And they're guaranteed for as long as I own my car? Yes. Visit your neighborhood Midas mechanic now for lifetime guaranteed brake pads or shoes. Just $89.95, including installation. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. Trust the Midas touch. He's fresh as Cars in and the hydrants out. Let's go. You don't know. What's inside? Oh, yeah. Don't miss the adventure of a lifetime. See why Entertainment Weekly calls Survivor All Stars the best Survivor ever. Yeah. A new Survivor on its regular night, CBS Thursday. Craig Gumble in New York just to update a score for you in St. Louis, Nevada, leading Georgia Tech by four, 742 to play in the first half. Let's take you back to Atlanta. 
All right, thank you, Greg. It's 8-8 here, 1554 Nevada. Remember, early in the season, we heard about this young player that uh, they have. Kirk Snyder, an outstanding performer. Everybody raving about him. Uh, Trent Johnson, the coach from Stanford, came over. Everybody saying, you, can you do it there? He said he was comfortable there. They loved their transition. Great start for them. Oklahoma State, St. Joseph, 16-1 and the last 17. Here's Luther Head. Got it for three. And, boy, that was deep, too. Ewing couldn't get out to control it. Now, this team really moves on the offensive end, Illinois. They put a lot of pressure on you defensively. And one of the problems, I think, for the defensive Duke is they like to deny the ball, take you out of your sets. Well, it's tough against a motion team. Underneath, Lou Aldang. That one is short. A foul is going to be called on Roger Powell, number 43. They trailed the play and got caught. Now, this team can really pick you apart, and their ability to stretch the defense, I think, is amazing because it opens up entry passes easily. That's going to send uh, Deng out of the Sudan uh, by way of London. Became a basketball fan when he was watching tapes. He gets that role. Looks like Grant Hill by uh, by watching tapes of Grant Hill, and they have established a very close relationship. The former Duke All-American continues his rehab near the campus at times and talks to Lou Aldang a couple of times a week. Well, that's one of the great guys in basketball, Grant. And just hopefully he'll get his chance working hard rehabbing that to quite a bit and what a guy to emulate if you're a youngster well he had a great uh, genetic advantage with Calvin and Janet Hill <laughs> two of the fine people I've ever met yeah, absolutely it all starts with the foundation and grant their only child here's the kick in the corner Nick Smith back outside that's going to be an Illinois turnover unless yeah, out of bounds. So you want to touch it, Vern, so they get the right. ball. You know, it's a backcourt violation. Come to hit, but now they can score on a baseline inbound. But Smith, too far. And what they do is they deny the passing lane. And he's getting the quick check because of the turnover. I think Bruce realizes you can't have big guys making decisions with this tenacious denial defense of Duke. And see the little conversation underneath. There's Jack Ingram with the block. Bruce Weber was in the face of Nick Smith. They. There have been some problems with, with Nick Smith's body language and his attitude, and Weber went right over and uh, had a little short conversation. Well, I think if they say a sense of humor, sometimes people don't get it. I can relate to that. <laughs> As Reddick gets the open look, and they dodge one. I understand everything you say. Look at this pass. Augustine, no, not quite. And here comes Duke, Duhon. Got Ewing left side, takes it all the way. Blind pass, out of bounds. And it's going to be Illinois ball. Make sure you vote for your starting guards on the Pontiac All-Time Tournament team. You can cast your ballot now at NCAAsports.com slash Pontiac. Uh, Shavlik Randolph in the game right now. There are some talented guards on the floor, including Duhan. He looks pretty spry, incidentally. Randolph's been playing very good basketball of late for Mike Krzyzewski. He's out on Jack Ingram. There's the high pick and roll. Darren Williams guarded by Reddick. Now D. Brown. And a foul is called on Luol Deng. They do pass the ball well to the post. They read the defender, get it to the correct hand. And the big guys beg, express themselves. Second team. That's number one on number two. And Duhon's going to get a rest now. Sean Dockery, number 15, who is a, a terrific defender. He is on. He guards the inbound pass. Darren Williams. Oh, Augustine. Didn't miss it. Point blank. And Randolph there to deter. Yes. Now Dockery, Randolph, Dang, Reddick. And Daniel Ewing on the floor for Duke. 11-10, nice. a line I lead. Quick hands and a foul is going to be called on Luther Head. Wow, a nice right out there. And the active hands by Head. They force that back to half court. Both teams exhibiting superior defensive ability. Well, we've talked about this Illinois team winning 14 to 15 under Bruce Weber in his first year. He coached at Southern Illinois and had them in the Sweet 16. This Duke team, uh, kind of surprising, I think, that they uh, they won two in the tournament, but their last 10 games prior to that, they were six and four. They got off the ball here. Yep. I don't know if it's, is it? Got Darren Williams. Yeah, that's that's one guy they can't afford to lose early. That puts them in a short situation as he gets number two. Number 21. Well, Rich McBride is going to replace Darren Williams. 
who picks up his second. Now, I wonder, you think he'll stick for the entire uh, remainder of the first half? It depends on the score, I think. Yeah. Fill it out. Rennick, catch and release. Off the mark, Augustine with an Illinois rebound. Now Head and D. Brown are joined by Jack Ingram, Rich McBride, the freshman, and Luther Head. And McBride can hit the three, not a bad pass into the post. The little guy really confident lately on the jump shot. Misses that time, D. Brown. Duke with a chance to go on top. Traveling, Duhon. Good, good move, though. I like that sort of acceleration, uh, definitive thought. You can't think of the injury when you're out there. Because Mike Krzyzewski uh, realizes how important he is to this attack on both ends of the floor. Ignites them in that leadership quality plus creating havoc. Now D. Brown. Here's Jack Ingram. Sat out last year as a red shirt. Transferred from Tulsa. Back to Ingram. He's gotten significant playing time lately. There's the pick and roll with McBride. And a little jumper in the lane. Rebound on the floor. Sheldon Williams. I don't think it had Augustine on this one. Uh, he just sort of scraped as he went by. That's the second for James Augustine, the 6'10 sophomore. Boy, that changes things there, too. Roger Powell forgot to report. So uh, Bruce Weber sends him back over to the scoring bench. That could be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it could. Second game of the doubleheader in Atlanta and a nickel dimer. And I'm with you guys out there. Well, they're told to call it, so I can't admonish the officials. But it's one of those that didn't change the play. 60 feet away. And Bruce looking on disbelief. He worked for Gene Cady. Took a lot of his thought process, the aggressive play. Not the same hairstyle, I might add. <laughs> uh, but they do get after you on the defensive end. Already, Duke is in the bonus. That's the seventh team foul against Illinois. And they've got two players on the bench, two key players, Augustine and Darren Williams with two fouls each. Darren Williams with 31 points in the dismantling of Cincinnati the other night. Well, this is when Duke can set it up, I think, really step up the defense. A couple of guys inexperienced handling the basketball. Sean Dockery misses. And here comes Illinois, tied at 11 with 13 minutes remaining in the first half. And Vern, you don't want Dockery tagging you all night. I mean, that could be a nightmare. I mean, D. Brown has that difficulty right now. Roger Powell, number 43, has the ball in his hands. There's the drive and the fadeaway. Got the roll. Nice Brady shot. Just hung a little bit mid-floor and knocked it down. Illinois back on top by two. Sean Dockery at the point with Shavlik Randolph. Duhon. Entry pass to Williams. There's the double team with Powell. Well, they're not giving him any opportunity to have him kick and have other people beat him. I think Duke ought to reset him, though. Kick it out and go right back to him as everybody rotates. There's Ingram out on Duhon. Shavlik Randolph on the floor, off the glass, two points. How interesting was to listen to Mike Krzyzewski. The steal now, the heads-up play. You just can't relax at all. Sean Dockery mentioned his defensive ability. Mike Krzyzewski was talking about Shavlik Randolph, who had hip surgery last May. He was on crutches for 10 weeks this summer. And there's the stuff that will not count because there was an offensive foul call. Don't leave your feet, Dockery. But just to come, it was really fascinating to listen to Krzyzewski talk about the improvement of Randolph. At the Bud Light Institute, we're proud that our beer is made with all natural ingredients and is low in carbs. So few, in fact, it's easy to burn the carbs in one Bud Light. That's why we've created the Mini Treadmill 2010. Use your treadmill at home. <laughs> On the town. Even in the gym. And it stores conveniently away till you need to use it again. Order yours today. Fresh, smooth, real. Bud Light, it's all here. Fully independent rear suspension. 5.7 liter V8. 346 limited slip. For impressive balance, great agility, crisp handling. Rear wheel drive is back. The 350 horsepower Pontiac GTO. Fuel for 
the soul. I am not a plumber. I am not a carpenter. I am not an electrician. We know you're not. Next time, come see us first. Ace, the helpful place. We're making lobster so right. Oh, the things we do at Red Lobster. We've got over 10 mouth-watering lobster dishes you've just got to try. Lobster Fest ends April 11th. The way we do the things we do. The way we do the things uh -huh. for you. That ought to do it. Oh, you're going international, huh? That's the plan. All right. See you tomorrow. Hey, Frank, little help. Here you go, guys. Hey, ragazzi. Hey, Franco. Hey, you, Pete. Ciao, Franco. Ciao. Ecco i pacchi dell'America. Sì, lavoriamo con l'estero, eh? Te ringrazio. Complimenti. Global shipping with a very familiar face. UPS. What can Brown do for you? Tonight, Dave's got turkey calling champions. <laughs> Plus, actress Julia Stiles and music from Jessica Simpson. Tonight on The Late Show. Eleven fifty-six to go, first half, tied at thirteen. The Illini against the Duke Blue Devils, top seed against the fifth seed. And let's check the five and the four. It's McBride and Powell, D. Brown. Duke's Smith is back on, and Luther Head for Illinois. And Sheldon Williams, Shavlik Randolph, Chris Duhon, Ewing, and Sean Dockery. Tied at 13, 11.42 to go. Three on three, spot up jumper left side. Off the rim, somebody shoved off underneath. Yes. You know what's interesting? I think Randolph pushed his own man. Really? And that's an interesting play. <laughs> well, he fouled. I mean, that's that's incredible. He's flabbergasted because he actually pushed a white shirt. And he's got a bit of a wry look. As he uh, glances back, it might turn to sourdough. <laughs> Are they really playing up on Smith as you know his ability? Look how about Randolph oh. getting right back in. That's not hanging your head. Shavlik Randolph. There's again. Randolph again. Mike Krzyzewski glowing about the way he's played, particularly in the last two weeks. He said it's like he made a breakthrough from the, the hip surgery that was last May. Now having said that, there's uh, was it a good look by Doc Rito? Was it sadly a little too low? But the big fella, Mike, couldn't have been more animated. Vern, tell us about his maneuverability, his athleticism. You mentioned the injury. Look at this reaction. Really a solid play. And unfortunately, he had that little foul at the other end. It wasn't his fault, but you can see the difference. Very aggressive and involved. Well, Mike Krzyzewski talking about how he has gone through double hip replacement surgery. So he had a certain empathy for what Shavik Randolph had gone through. And here's the screen from Smith. Gets the return pass. That's his game. Too strong. McBride put back no. Another put back from Smith. And this one gets the roll and drops through. Well, you can't teach size. He got to the rim. Heady play after the miss got involved. Smith, who graduated with a degree in finance back in December, is in graduate school already. At 7 2, the tallest player to ever play for Illinois. There's that curl. It really, really uses screens beautifully. Wow. How about that, huh? <laughs> Reddick ties it up again. 10 15 to go in the half. Now D. Brown backs it out. Ooh, they get Smith for it? Or wait, wait, wait. They got Reddick trying to go the inadvertent whistle, I think. Nice curl here. And I, I was reading, you know, Bob Hussey used to coach at Virginia Tech and Belmont Abbey. Remember, his dad told him. Reddick was taught by Bob Hussey how to come off screens, and I think they had an inadvertent whistle on that last play. Yes. That's what it was. And when you were a shooter like Reddick, you learned how to turn and finish a shot. What a tough out you become. There's the high screen set by Roger Powell. Tied at 15 midway through the first half. Second game, winner gets Xavier here on Sunday afternoon. Switching on the perimeter. You see Duhon staying at home. He's got Brown now. Now Luther Head finds Brown. Duhon not there. On the floor. Scramble for it. 
And here's Brown, Luther Head. Dribble penetration, finger roll, yes. A squisher. I mean, that thing's stuck up there on the neck of the rim, but he can blow by people. We've seen it a couple of times. That time he finished. Luther Head out of Manly High School in Chicago. And when he signed with Illinois, became the first public school player since 1994 to join the Illini. There's another Duke turnover. Well, Luther Head, Roger Powell made this play. He got the kick out, the little squisher at the end, the ability to avoid the charge and finish. Luther Head, three of five, has had a, a difficult season. He was uh, one of three players suspended for the first four games for off the court violations. And then uh, had a problem with a suspended driver's license, suspended for another two games. And he actually volunteered to quit the program. Had a conversation with Bruce Weber, and he says, what do you want from me? And Bruce Weber said, I want you to change. Mm -hmm. And he did, fortunately, for this team and for himself, more importantly. Nice give back. You got to make this. Jack Ingram, no. And this might be a Duke foul. I think it is. Redick on the right out. And Mike Krzyzewski not really happy with the officials. He's been working diligently. As he does periodically. Well, Mike's very persuasive. There's thing we're talking about the athleticism. When he was young, he wasn't athletic. I mean, Shavlik was athletic in his younger days. Of course, Mike played an army for Bob Knight. Point guard with a reputed vertical leap of a foot. Uh, on the Saturday edition of the Daily News, he jumped over. <laughs> Seventeen fifteen, eight thirty-eight to go. And other than trying to score, I think Duhan has been fine. And they need him though to be a little more aggressive. And Chris loosened up the D. Ewing. Look underneath for Dang, who's being fronted by Roger Powell. Darren Williams, star of the win over Cincinnati, went to the bench with his second foul. Fourteen minutes to go. Hasn't returned. Here's Ingram and the double. Nice dive. Back outside to Reddick, spot up three, money. Money, bank it, oh, unattached. Beautiful delivery. Reddick has seven, J.J. Reddick. And the first lead for Duke in the ball game, up by one. Automatic switch, really puts a lot of pressure on you. Here's Ingram. He finds Powell, takes a 17-foot jumper. And this one is saved by Duhon. And then with a great right out. Smith getting ready to come back for the Illini. 18-17, Duke, seven and a half to go. And Reddick again using the screens. What a give back. The flip to the goal. Send it in, big fella. Well, when you can shoot it, you attract people. Reddick brings two, slips to Ding. There's more than just the shooter. you got to address him, and then somebody else punishes you for Duke. guys right yeah okay you gotta help me my computer has a virus I've got to email a presentation or I'm dead it's for a board meeting maybe you just rip out the hard drive oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no just press the blue button and follow along that's it that's it that's it that's it that is <laughs> you ever tried decaf stress-free wireless only on a thinkpad with Intel Centrino mobile technology Stu, you tired? No. Hey, Stu, waxed your back? Not lately. Hey, hey Stu, did you take care of that rash? Nope. Whoa, you going commando? No. Did you see your... No, I saw my bartender. He told me to try this. If you want to have it all, great taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light, talk to your bartender. Great taste, less filling, Miller Light. Good call. Critics are calling Taking Lives the best film of its type since Silence of the Lambs. Hitchcock would be proud. You'll be guessing all the way till the end, and you'll still be wrong. 
taking lives. Rated R. Now playing. <sighs> Why do I rent from Enterprise? Because having the right car or truck makes all the difference. Sweetheart, your honeydew list just got a little bit longer. Sorry. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. What if you believed you committed murder, then discovered you could be innocent? What did you see that night? Something I wish I hadn't. TV's most watched new drama, Cold Case, CBS Sunday. Duke by three. Look at the uh, fourth line here. Turnovers, five to eight. Illinois, in their win over Cincinnati, turned it over quattro times, four. Well, Mike Krzyzewski alluded to that. He said it's tough to turn this team over. They're so quick. They handle the ball well. They've got a lot of three-guard look. But it's interesting that Illinois has been able, almost with a Band-Aid approach, hang in here with their foul dilemma. So they've well, done a solid job. Darren Williams, as you speak, is back on the floor. He picked up his second foul at the 14-23 mark, and he is now back on the floor with 7.22 to go. So Darren Williams, a sophomore from the Colony in Texas near the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, about 25 minutes north, back on the floor. And the big thing, and you know, Mike Chef's even down the road, you might see dribble drive against Williams for that reason. Now uh, here's Darren Williams. He's had a terrific sophomore season, first team all Big Ten. And they need Smith to hit that shot because he normally can. Nice job by Reddick. Screened out, then ran down the loose one, and then the save. Now you were just saying during the timeout, you think J.J. Reddick is a pretty complete player. Well, he's such a good shooter, you really have to attack him. He draws a lot of attention, opens it up for his partners, and he's gotten better with this. The bounce, look at this. Two and guys the kick out, right. Here's Duhon. Good, good to see that. Huh? Drive, draw, <laughs> delivers to the big fella, and then rocking it, sending it strong. Williams. 7 nothing run and a five-point Duke lead. Smith, here's Darren Williams, guarded by Reddick. No call. Off the mark. Smith had to be careful, and timeout called as Duhon There's goes over the cheerleader. There's your answer, huh? Yeah. How about that? Bruised ribs and all. a lot of guts to talk to your friends about their problems with drugs or drinking but it can make all the difference now well, Chris Duhon one of the captains of this team and uh, no points tonight but uh, meaningful contributions in so many ways not the least of which was that effort on the loose ball when he dived out of bounds despite the bruised ribs 6.14 to go first half. Duke has scored the last seven. And Illinois has two players playing with two fouls. Augustine and Darren Williams both on the court at the current time. And Duhon just saved that ball, showed you his aggressive play. This is a play that's worked with drive the lane and then find some big people. Dang this time. Lou All Dang gets two. It's a seven. Nothing run, and Deng has nine points. Look at this harassing defense and denial. Daniel Ewing on Darren Williams. Here's Duhon on D. Brown. Williams, jumper. That's for three. They tried to switch the post exchange on the baseline. Reddick got caught up, trailed his guy, and then was told to chase out a little bit late for Williams. That ends the string of seven unanswered. It's 24 25, 25 to go. First half. Duhan back outside. Ewing for three. Air ball. A little quick. You, you want to shoot it quickly, but within rhythm. Five minutes and 18 seconds to go. First half. the Pontiac all-time tournament team at NCAAsports.com slash Pontiac and register for your chance to win four tickets to the 2005 Men's Final Four and a 2004 Pontiac GTO. It's here. 
complete line of over 30 power tools from Rigid that'll seriously outperform what you're using now. With exact line laser precision, batteries that charge in half the time, more torque, and the best warranty in the business. But the attachment that says the most about these tools, the pros who swear by them. Rigid, powerful, durable, professional. Buy them now at the Home Depot. Welcome to the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. Oh my God. There are things that go bump in the night. And we are the ones who bump back. Hellboy. It's coming for us. Hellboy. Ready PG-13. In theaters everywhere, April 2nd. Hey, LeBron. Oh, what up, Thurs? Brother, how about a toy in your new crib? Oh, come on in. This is my bedroom? Right, right. King-size water bed. Game room. Plasma screen, blah, blah, blah. And this is the kitchen. Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't. Crisp, clean, ice cold, lemon, lime, Sprite, always at your fingertips? Check it out. <laughs> you crying? It's just so beautiful. Show up, my motto. <laughs> Can a brother get a minute? When a 14-year-old with a million-dollar personality signs to play soccer for a half million dollars a year, that's a 60-minute story, Sunday. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. I'm Solomon Wilcox. For so long, Duke basketball has been defined by their superior talent and their classic performance on the court. And while those virtues remain true, Chris Duhon's ability to come out and play with bruised ribs showed that toughness is also a part of their makeup. You might say that the players reflect the personality of their coach. And remember, guys, Coach K was a cadet at West Point. And while he is still an officer and a gentleman, well, inside is that raging competitive spirit that has filtered down to his players. Chris Duhon is one of them. Yes, yeah, Solomon, we've seen that periodically over the years. Uh, he is one of the great competitors, no question about it. Once again, getting in the lane, didn't finish that time head. Uh, but the one thing I've noticed, Solomon and Vern, Dave Engelhart, the trainer, has not once gone into the huddle or talked to Chris Duhon. So they're just letting him play. He'll inform them if there's any problem, and obviously there is not. Chris Duhon tonight playing in his 142nd game. Well, they do a nice job on that little flex screen and then duck into the three-second area. Here's head. Darren Williams guarded by Reddick. James Augustine playing with two fouls. Oh, boy. Well, he's, and, you know, his offense, he really understands how to play. Early in the year, he wouldn't take shots, and the players were trying to coerce him into it. He can step out and shoot the jumper as well. Augustine at 6'10", played for his dad in high school football. He was a quarterback. And, and D. Brown at, what, 5'10", played against him. Yes. He just said, look at this open look. You can't give Deng those or any of the perimeter people. Luther Head got on the trampoline and got way up there. Now here's Williams, and it's stripped away by Ewing. They got numbers. Duke running, head back. Ewing spin move off the glass. Wow, how pretty was that? Under control, no charge at all. 26-22, 3.45 to go before the halftime break. From the corner, Williams. Nope. Ewing. And Duhon got away with a gamble there. He tried to not. He's a little out of hand. I saw him right wins, Bill. Yeah. Yes. And he can change the pace as the quarterback. Started half the games his freshman year. Has been a starter ever since. Had a bit of a slump last year and has come back. As the captain, his senior season. Here's Luol Deng. And the unselfish play of Williams. He's just offered it up to double the amount of the size. Brown was there, still opted to kick it out. Luol Deng has 12 points. And the Duke Blue Devils lead by seven. Powell, there's Deng, Augustine. Pretty good penetration by Powell. 29-24, 2.51 to go. Seated Duke. Here's Reddick again. Well, even when he misses, it's it, a it pretty shot. Like, yeah. When he misses, it's almost like an accident. Nice look here to Brown. Oh, two, the one problem is to give up to Brown. Fortunately, they get it back is his size as he gets around the big guys. D Brown 
29 26 220 to go he picks up Chris Duhon here's Ewing quick no not there Augustine not hit by Dang that's a foul not a good foul either by Dang maybe a little frustrated on that particular play Second foul on Louis Ding. Uh, Shavlik Randolph is bad, back on along with Sean Dockery. And Duhon and Ding will get a rest for Mike Krzyzewski's team. And Vern, both teams are high octane defensively and pushing the ball at opportune time. So it's going to be a, a game of attrition. Obviously, the fouls are a problem, but also of condition. Can you keep it up? First time Illinois has been at the free throw line, and Augustine at 6'10 gets the first. He'll shoot another 63% free throw shooter for the season. Augustine with uh, nine points and five rebounds already. In the leadership mold, every year Mike comes up or two with the Shane Battier type, and that's what Chris Duhon is for this team. Pretty good role model himself. Uh, yeah, exactly. Shane Battier. A 6 nothing Illinois run. And they're back in the thick of this. Eighty-five years of experience. Booms. Busts. Downpours. Fiscal firestorms. Falling rates. Rising tides. And we end up with 50 million customers and over $600 billion in assets. We can weather anything and help make sure you do too. Insurance, loans, retirement. AIG. We know money. This is Wendy's headquarters, and they sent me a letter. Dear Mr. Wendy, that's me. Thanks for your kind words. Yes, Wendy's hamburgers are delicious because we make them fresh when you order them. And you're right, our classic double with cheese does rock, especially the combo. But to your self-appointed title of Mr. Wendy, unofficial spokesman, our lawyers insist that you cease and desist from representing us. That's him. It's uh, carpet speak for keep up the good work. Hey, you! Wendy's classic hamburgers. It's better here. Hey! Dear DirecTV, your service is great! Crystal clear picture, programming guide, it's just so great! Nothing could ever describe DirecTV better than the word great. Maybe wow, but no! Great works best! Sincerely, Chris Copensi. Wow, great! Great wow! Get over 125 channels for $29.99 a month for six months, plus equipment and installation for up to three rooms free. Will my car be ready this afternoon like you promised? Yes. Will you use a bunch of lingo I won't understand? No. Will you try to sell me something I really don't need? No. Do you like Broadway show tunes? No. Visit your neighborhood Midas Mechanic now for lifetime guaranteed brake pads or shoes. Just $89.95, including installation. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. For mechanics known for their work and their word. Trust the Midas touch. Tonight on The Late Show, Dave's got Jessica Simpson plus Julia Stiles and turkey calling champions. We're going to have to hustle back for that. Tonight right here on CBS. 2.09 to go first half. Duke leads by one over the Fighting Illini. An Illinois team that uh, sees as its turnaround game a road win at Indiana. They had uh, they had been badly beaten by Wisconsin, came back home and defeated a Michigan team in Champaign that went on the road to Indiana and despite hitting four of 26 in the second half in the field, they wound up winning by two. And the defense has stepped up and right now spacing people. Williams on the bench, Augustine on the bench for the foul problem. Deng out as well with the two. So both coaches setting it up for the second half. 145 to go underneath. Williams kicks it out. Sean Dockery, here's JJ Reddick, guarded by Luther Head. Oh, shot clock at one. Nice play by And it hit the rim, so there's a fresh 35, but now out of bounds, Illinois. Boy, Randall did a nice job, almost got that tip in. Great defense again, stepping out. Anytime that ball screen occurs, if you blitz, you can really throw a dilemma into the offense. Illinois is the lower seeded team playing in their road uniforms. They're wearing the orange 
They have won eight in a row. They're undefeated in the orange uniforms. Last eight games. There's Powell. The rebound, and Powell puts it up. Got it. Well, and the Illini back on top. They're really sticking with it. He's done a nice job. Eight unanswered for Illinois. And in the final minute of the first half, they have a one-point lead. There's Williams. Smith off the glass. It, it always nice. They had everybody lifted so they couldn't double. And Randolph with a wonderful pass. And in the strong attack and a tip. Nine-second difference game clock and shot clock. Here's D. Brown guarded by Sean Dockery. There's the pick from Smith. The switch out. Ah, the go for the steal by Dockery. It's on the floor. Duke has it. Here's Ewing. Head back. Off the mark. Williams wasn't ready for it. How about that? That's amazing. I think the bump missed the layup or caused the miss of the layup. But everybody on the deck there. Weber quickly puts Darren Williams back in for offense here with 14 to go. Nick Horvath makes his first appearance, the fifth-year senior. Here we and go. Vern, that little bump just spun him around, and that caused a problem right after this. Who's got it and everybody on the deck, and you don't think this is important? Wow. Get the custodian out. <laughs> a lot of perspiration on the deck. Williams can't drive. I think he should give it up and use the screen. They'll try and pick up a charge on him. He's way outside. Here's Head for the lead. Half time. Coming up on singular at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis. We'll get you updated on all the latest tournament news, plus a live look at the Nevada-Georgia Tech game and the singular one-on-one -on -one with Billy Packer Trivia Challenge. That's all coming up on singular at the half. Well, we had a great game in game one here. This one is uh, going to get equal billing as we've reached halftime. It's been on the uh, teeter-totter. And uh, Duke and Illinois going back and forth throughout. It's 31-30 as we get to the break. And let's check in with Solomon Wilcox. Duke assistant coach Chris Collins. Guys have the one-point lead. They made a run there at the end of the half. What has been the difference in the first half? Well, they've really hurt us on the offensive boards. We've done a good job on initial defense. We need to do a better job on the backboards to take away their second-chance points. All right, thanks for stopping by. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Sully. End of the half, one-point game. Our exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship continues after this message and a word for your local station. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my new Kia Sedona. It's got a 10-year warranty. Did you see Sienna have that? No. It was 2300 less, and I got three years free maintenance. You got free maintenance? Yeah. Dare to compare a Kia Sedona before you buy. With a five-star safety rating, a 10-year warranty, and now for a limited time, get three years free maintenance. When you add it all up, there's no comparison. CSI Miami has had some tough days, but nothing compares to this. A drug deal goes bad. The killer went out this way. A reporter is kidnapped. Where is she? She's turning on the top. Right or left? Left. And terrorists threaten the city. Get out of the beer, go and get your hands in the air right get now. Out of the car. A new CSI Miami, CBS Monday. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS. Yes, sir. At St. Francis Medical Center, we believe the power to heal comes from within. They did the biopsy, and the next day I knew. But in my heart, I think I knew already. The cancer literally appeared overnight. It was so sudden. The doctors and nurses at St. Francis were very professional, very caring and concerned. It just was natural for me to go there. The power to heal comes from within St. Francis Medical Center. The highest power. We've got to move some metal in March at Hoffenberg of Carpenter. Get huge savings on every new Pontiac, Cadillac, and GMC truck. Like a new Grand Air Messi, just eleven nine fifty six or two nineteen a month. A new GMC Sierra, just fourteen nine ninety nine or two thirty two a month. A new GMC Envoy, just twenty four seven ninety eight or three ninety three a month. Huge discounts up to nine thousand dollars off. Our financing as low as zero percent. We got to move some metal in March. Only at Hoffenberg of Carpenter, right on Highway thirteen, just west of University Mall. It's absolutely Hoffenberg. 
we're hunting a known killer of women, ruthless enough to take more women's lives than every cancer on Earth combined. That killer is heart disease. At the Lourdes Cardiovascular Center, we've assembled the most experienced cardiac team in the region. Heart disease will kill half a million women this year. We're working day and night to see that you don't join them. Lourdes, your life, your choice. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half. Sponsored by Singular Wireless, the wireless company that fits you best. Welcome back to our New York studios, everyone. Singular at the half. Greg Gumbel with Clark Kellogg and Seth Davis. After 20 minutes of play, Duke by 131 to 30. Meanwhile, in St. Louis, Nevada and Georgia Tech just coming back from halftime. The Wolfpack with a 39 to 34 lead. Let's take you live to the Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis for second half action. We join Gus Johnson and Len Elmore. Nevada leads Georgia Tech 39 to 34 as we begin the second half. The big story here in St. Louis, Georgia Tech's leading scorer, B.J. Elder, only played three minutes in the first half. He suffered an ankle injury, returned to the game. That one tapped in by McHenry. Returned but couldn't go, and now we are waiting to see, after the ankle was retaped, whether or not he'll give it another try. And again, B.J. Elder averaging 18 points over the last four games. This team needs this kind of effort on both glass in order to compensate for his loss. And as I mentioned before, 18 points off the bench getting solid performances from guys like Will Bynum. Here's Olkerson who led the Wolfpack in scoring in the first half. Pulls up straight away three short. He had 11 points, Olkerson. And a look at what happened to B.J. early in this game. Again, Kurt Snyder trying for the alley-oop, falls on Elder's ankle. And obviously laboring very much after it was retaked. Elder left the game with 18.22 to go with a sprained ankle. Meanwhile, Pinckney picks up his third foul. And from the looks of that, he's got some kind of brace on that ankle. He may be done for the evening. And an offensive foul called against Schencher. Georgia Tech trying to stay aggressive going into Luke Schencher. Boy, he got called for an offensive foul. That's awfully close. I mean, in a game like this, there's a certain amount of contact that's allowed. Nevada, the lowest seed remaining in the tournament at 10. Snyder is their great player. Gets to the basket, off the mark. Rizikas with the rebound. And he will go to the line. You know, from Nevada's standpoint, it's nothing unusual. They're two big guys, Snyder and Okerson. 21 points in the first half, 8 of 17 from the field. It's the rest of the guys they want to get started so they can have that varied attack make it even more difficult for Georgia Tech to catch up. Fazekas, freshman from Arvada, Colorado. Second one off the mark, Schencher with the rebound. Here comes Jack, quickly into the front court. Lewis at 10 points, he has the ball right now for Georgia Tech in the first half. Muhammad across the lane. Now Jack, stop and start and a foul on the baseline. So the Georgia Tech bench has had to step up. Will Bynum leading the way with seven points. Mohammed with five. And you throw in Theotis Tarver, and that's nice production from that bench, trying to compensate. And Schencher called for traveling. See, I know Georgia Tech's trying to get the ball in the Schencher because he's got that height advantage. He's got to work to get deeper position on Fazekas. He's not capable of putting the ball on the floor and moving to a closer spot. Bounce pass knocked away. Nevada turns it over. Jack the other way. Quickly down the lane. High no. Tap. Okerson hauls it in. He's got Fazekas running with him. Inside. Fazekas for three. Got it. 
And that's a dimension Fazekas brings in his size, the ability to step outside and shoot the three unencumbered. Shenzhou the other way, counted, and the foul. And for an update on B.J. Elder, here's Dwayne Ballon. Gus, after having that right ankle retaped, he tried to run in the back near the locker room. Elder could not go, couldn't put enough pressure on the ankle, so he is done for the balance of the game. Wow. But you know, in a way for Georgia Tech, that's a good thing because now his teammates don't have one eye on the bench thinking that B.J. is going to come and help rescue us. They're now focused on getting the job done themselves. It's a psychological play, and I think it's a good one. Shencher adds the free throw. And here comes a sub. Sean Paul replaces Jermaine Washington. Georgia Tech pick it up full court now as Snyder inbounds the ball. And by a good psychological play, I mean just make the decision right now. He's no longer available. So his teammates understand that. Hokelson drives baseline, leans in, double clutch, bad shot. Muhammad with the rebound on the air ball. Good defense, though, by Jack. Muhammad, the kick. Lewis, down the lane, the teardrop, got the foul. And that's the guy that has to pick up the slack. Marvin Lewis, more than capable of scoring in bunches. And he has 12 points for Marvin Lewis, the senior from Germantown, Maryland, right outside D.C. Now Snyder, double team. Bill Thomas, 12-footer, count it. And that's what I mean by more versatile offense. Getting guys like Hill Thomas more involved, Fazekas more involved, makes it difficult to guard that team. Tonight on The Late Show, Dave's got Jessica Simpson, plus Julia Stiles and Turkey Calling Champions tonight right here on CBS. You know, Georgia Tech has been focused on stopping Okerson, stopping Snyder, which they seem to have done at least at this point in the second half. But it's the other guys now who are starting to light it up. Jack penetrates, leaves it for Schencher. Nice touch for the seven-footer from Australia. 45 to 43. And that's what you call putting a guy in a position to succeed. Schencher can hit that shot. Don't give him the ball where he's got to put it on the floor and make something. Snyder off the mark. Sean Paul there. Brings it down. Sean Paul off the back rim. Schencher with the rebound. Now Jack. Muhammad straight to the bucket. <laughs> and we are tied at 45. Hogerson, stop and start. Hangs, rejected. Jack the other way. He's got a trailer to the basket. Reverse layup, got it. And Georgia Tech has the lead. Do you feel a momentum shift right now? Yes. And so does Trent Johnson. Muhammad speaking loudly for Georgia Tech. Yellow Jackets by two. Why do we work? Why do we get up every day and go to work? Because we make things, fix things, send our kids off to learn things. At the Principal Financial Group, we know you don't just work to retire, you work to live. That's why we give people the financial tools to help them keep more of the money they make and do more with the money they save. You work hard, we make work work hard for you. The Principal Financial Group, we understand what you're working for. Two weeks without a cigarette. I was this close to giving in. Then I thought, you're crazy. You're this close to finally making it. When you're quitting smoking and you get a really tough craving, an extra piece of Nicorette can help make all the difference. One bite and it quickly begins to release the medicine you need. With Nicorette, you can always add an extra piece to your schedule. So whenever you need help, you've got it. I've never gone this long without a cigarette. Nicorette helps you quit one craving at a time. Enjoy the month-long crazy ride with CBS Sports and Coca-Cola. It's going down, because we around. We run this chance. Now we got to go out and play. We can get the drop of pop and wheel. Ruh, 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 ruh. Be a warrior and make this. Yeah! We didn't come here to come.
close, and we came here to win the game. You've got to step up. Close out all of the pressure. Trust everything you've been taught. And just believe you can do it. You know, my first day on the job sure felt familiar. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Should it be illegal for an athlete to play in the pros because he has a bionic eye? One in it. It's my dream. I'll get you there. A new Century City, CBS Saturday. There's your score in St. Louis. Georgia Tech has come back to take the lead, 47-45. Yellow Jackets will keep you updated on what happens there. Time now for the singular one-on-one -on -one with Billy Packer Trivia Challenge. Which coach has won the most NCAA tournament games? Our correct answer is Dean Smith, who won 65, including two national titles with North Carolina. For a chance to win a trip to the Final Four, send a text message to 26222 or log on to cbs.com slash 2NCAA. We thank you for joining us here on Singular at the Half, back to Atlanta for the second half of Illinois and Duke after this. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular Wireless, the wireless company that fits you best. My old nationwide wireless plan said they didn't charge me for roaming. Yeah, right. If I stayed in network, but if you can't even see the network, yoo-hoo! Network, I'm in the network. Oh, network. How do you stay in it? There's no in or out of network with the new Singular Nation. You never pay roaming or long distance, even with your nationwide mobile-to-mobile -mobile minutes. I call it my plan. The new Singular Nation, another reason Singular fits you best. Call me. Really? Uh, of course. So, did you kiss her? Two more weeks, Dad. I'm cutting you loose. Your student driver is going solo. Don't insure him with just anybody. Get a State Farm agent, someone you can count on to be there with young driver discounts and the coverage you need now. No wonder more families trust State Farm. Did he kiss her? from American Express. Meet Blue Cash from American Express. What am I? Am I a basketball player who's a psychology major? I'm a psychology major who's a basketball player. You know, that's the thing about psychology. You tend to overanalyze everything. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. When a 14-year-old with a million-dollar personality signs to play soccer for a half million dollars a year, that's a 60-minute story, Sunday. Craig Gumbel in New York with a scoring update. 15-18 to play in the second half. Nevada and Georgia Tech are all tied up at 47. We'll keep you updated. We'll send you off to Atlanta for the second half of Illinois and Duke after this message and a word from your local station. Z71 with an available 220 horsepower engine. You're it. Don't let all that power go to your head. Chevy, an American revolution. New low slung worn in jeans, $80. New vintage t shirt with perfect not trying too hard look, $40. New limited edition Adidas, $125. So I was thinking a little more like that. Looking like a professional for your internship. Now you guys try. Priceless. Do you want me to do it again? No. no. 
Apply for an internship making a music video for Hoobastank. Go to MasterCard.com. All Stars is the best survivor ever. A new episode back on its regular night, CBS Thursday. I'd love to shop on the net. Just look at all this stuff. We're pretty net savvy at Grange Insurance. We understand what the web does well. Buying insurance online, that's another matter. And not so well. We believe that insurance is all about people. So at our website, you can find a living, breathing Grange Independent Agent. Don't send a mouse to do an expert's job. Your partner in protection. You trust for complete cardiovascular care. Since opening the region's first heart center, Southeast Missouri Hospital has improved the lives of tens of thousands of area residents. Heart complete cardiac care includes chest pain center evaluation, cardiac diagnostics, electrophysiology, heart surgery, and a cardiac rehab program of individualized follow up care. A regional heart center at Southeast Missouri Hospital. Commitment to excellence, trusted care. Hi folks, Kevin Jones at Savonda Motors in Mount Vernon. Hope you're having a great day. We're not holding a March Madness sale and we're not having any big promotions, but we do offer low prices every day on every Chevrolet and Oldsmobile on the lot. Savonda Motors wants to win your business. Sure, you can shop my competition. Please shop my competition. But before you do, get my lowest price and my lowest payment and my highest trade allowance first. Shop the winning team, Savonda Motors in Mount Vernon. Oh, and one more thing, it's so easy. For the past 20 years, KU has also conducted a basketball clinic that enables Special Olympians to practice their skills against the team. Because with a little help, the Special Olympians' dreams can become a reality. Everyone on this team really enjoys working with kids. It's just a great experience to just teach and learn and have fun with the game of basketball rather than be so serious about it. At Microsoft, we see your potential. We're inspired to create software that helps you reach it. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Miller. The whole 10 yards. Microsoft. And by the new Chevrolets. About set for the start of the second half. 31-30 Duke has the lead. That's Break it down for you statistically through the first 20 minutes of action. Field goal percentage, Illinois only 37%. They had 10 more shots than did Duke. Offensive rebounds, there is uh, one reason they had those other shots. 7 to 2. Turnovers, uh, not terrible. 7 to 8. And Chris Duhon. The leader, the captain of this team, playing with Bruce Ribs, tough night. Uh, not himself, really, Ron. I mean, he, he's done everything you would expect, the leadership quality, but he hasn't been an offensive uh, factor in the game. But how about counter that? Dee Brown not getting the shots, the looks, and, of course, Williams with the two fouls not getting the opportunities as well. Well, Bruce Weber had to kind of massage his team with Darren Williams out uh, for much of the first half of two fouls. They survived that. Uh, good news for the Illini. V very much so. They yo-yoed a uh, figure of speech, too, making, making sure the bodies are fresh. They go to the second half. Augustine without foul problems or Williams. But I like to see Chris Duhon now get involved a little bit more. Let's see how far he can go. They need his energy, obviously. They need his thrust on the offensive end. Duke has lost only twice when leading at the half. And we're underway. Here's D. Brown, only one of four in the first half. Darren Williams handicapped with those two quick fouls. And Luther Head, number four, guarding number four, J.J. Reddick on him. Roger Powell with the first jumper of this half into the hands of Duhon. Illinois gets back. They've got three oh, nice. defenders. Oh, wow. Take it over, CD. <laughs> Chris Duhon just with a great feel for the big fella, and then the strong sending it. Sheldon Williams with the basket. Powell penetration beauty. Now he's watching Duhon on the defensive end, Burn, and he's really been aggressive. I think it's part of letting yourself loose on the offensive end. He, he looks like he's fine, but getting into it emotionally is the next step. Ewing, Deng, Sheldon Williams having uh, had that stuff, wants it. There's the double team. He's got another. Deng is a great post passer, by the way. And he fed Williams beautifully, and then the strength under him. 35-32. We played just over a minute. That one 
affected as Augustine went up, and here's Chris Duhon. Well, Williams did a nice job getting a piece of that one, too. 35-32. Here's Deng, the freshman. Now, take a look at the senior Chris Duhon, that last fast break. Well, the confidence to just be relaxed and let the big guy get past the foul line making sure there isn't any traffic and then the ability to soar and finish it off. But Chris Duhon all year long has been a pleasure to watch and just lead this team doing so many solid things. That last foul called on Luther Head, number four. Well, we're told Augustine now. There is a bit of confusion at the official scoring table. And, you know and now Bruce Weber's upset because he says, no, you said four. And now they've switched it officially to Augustine, and that's more significant. That's his third. And you know what, Luther, he stuck his hand in to get a piece of the basketball, and I believe that was where the foul was called. And then in the juxtaposition of bodies, uh, they nailed 4-0. Yep. Bruce Weber was still drawing at the official as he went by his side. Here's Luther Head. Tries to take Reddick and does. Oh, wow. Pick up the lingerie. <laughs> oh, look at the blow by. He did that in the first half as well. Finished one of two. Luther Head, the junior from Chicago. And it's a 37 34 game. The two teams have played just uh, a couple of minutes. Here's Duhon. Sheldon Williams goes into the low post. Pass comes to the corner. Quick first step. Wow. Wow, the angle they had to close out on him opened it up. How pretty was that Ewing with a blow by as well? Daniel Ewing, the only starter on this new team who did not receive some sort of all ACC accolade. He was uh, the 17th man in the voting throughout the ACC. And first three teams, of course, went to the first 15 vote getters. And you, you noticed he, he had a couple of comments, but just his plane will speak for the way they handled him. He's been solid all year, terrific open shooter. 41% from three, and that's what makes it tough. You got Duhon on the top and Reddick and Ewing on the wings. Tough to handle both. On the dead ball, here's the entry, uh, the inbound pass, and it's knocked away Luol Deng. He picked up his third foul. Reddick spot up three off the mark. D. Brown, he's got head at the other end, and Darren Williams. Nice. They kick it out. D. Brown, that's for three. Nice play by Williams. He could have charged. So heady on that play. Darren spots his backcourt partner, the fleet foot at one. He knocks it down. Darren Williams, who led the Big Ten in assists this year, the number two guy, was his teammate, D. Brown. Underneath, Randolph knocked out of bounds. And Luther had made this run out. He took off. The defense has to get after him. And now the drift, such a weapon in college basketball now. And Williams disdaining the ability to charge, finds his partner. A little nylon, but a little guy. A two-point game. Good catch. Randolph. A little too far underneath, and I think Darren Williams just picked up his third foul. And if so, problems mount for the Alana. It is indeed confirmed that's his third foul. Here's Shavlik Randolph. Near the conclusion of every NCAA tournament game, we'll select a Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. To date, Chevrolet has contributed more than $8 million to the general scholarship funds of America's colleges and universities. One of two for Shavlik Randolph. And a three-point Duke lead under 17 to go. Roger Powell backs in on Randolph. Dang with the double team. Now Reddick. Head goes back. Reddick with a steal. Head defensively. Four on four and four for Duke. Gets the basket. Very clever by Reddick. Let the run out. Let Head just move by. D. Brown getting ready to come back on the floor for the Illini. Powell up and under the tip. And Smith not there. At the other end, here's Reddick. The old fashioned chippy hang eater. A nice read. Well, he knows. His guys have it. Great anticipation on the leak out. Duke by 
seven. Redick with 13. I just can't do this anymore. You want me to be happy, right? I just need more in my life. More flavor and smooth taste. Don't, don't do that. You're the king, and you're funny. Nobody can question that. But I'm kind of into that cold filtered thing. This is kind of awkward. We're gonna get out of here. Sometimes in the face of insurmountable odds, unlikely heroes are born. As precious seconds ticked away, you took an impossible amount of data and turned it into something impossibly good. You have the new Microsoft Office system. Victory is yours. Z71 with an available 220 horsepower engine. You're it. Don't let all that power go to your head. Chevy, an American revolution. I was president of uh, the company that I founded in the poultry business, portion control boneless chicken breast. Had an opportunity to get out of the business on a profitable basis. I believe I can be successful as an executive in almost any industry. Monster, today's the day. Just when Jimmy and Jill and Oz and Cynthia think they're out of trouble with the mob. Oh! Don't have to shoot Oz, honey. They pull them back in. Where is my wife? <laughs> Bruce Willis, Matthew Perry, The Whole Ten Yards, rated PG-13, starts Friday, April 9th. We're going to prosecute your brother to the full extent of the law. Do you honestly think I would turn against him? He's my brother. You're going to go down with him just as hard. New Without a Trace, CBS Thursday. Uh, Vern Lundquist, you got to sneak out and anticipate. One of the best was Larry Bird at sneaking out. Savlik Randolph with, may not get credit for a rebound, but how about that slap and the ability to find at the other end and the understanding what shot. And Reddick defensively solid on the ball. You can see Smith trying to run a little pick and roll. And the ability to ward off the defender and making sure you still have control of the ball and able to finish. So Reddick with two solid attempts. And the steals in the ballgame. Excuse me, Bill. Duke with eight, Illinois with two. Now they are always in you, Duke, trying to turn you over. And I think Bruce Weber, sensing a danger point here, has put Augustine back on the floor, and Darren Williams, both with three fouls. And D. Brown have been out that little couple of minutes, stretching at the end of the bench. He's back in, jacks this deep one in. He is so different than early in the year. He was thinking about the shot. Now it's butter. Well, through February, D. Brown was hitting 35% from the field. Over the last 11 games, he's at 51%. Isn't that amazing? One of the guys, here's Augustine, two on one. D. Brown, got it. And Augustine giving it up at the right time, too. You don't want the big guy charging or making a mistake. And D. Brown's hurt. Yes. He's limping. That's why he went out. That could be a hammy. Yeah, I think so. And you can see the look of pain on his face. As those pants go from his hip to his ankles. Randolph underneath, got it. Where high low is extremely effective with Dang at top at the top. They're gonna have to take a timeout. D Brown can it's really struggling as he comes down. No timeout yet. And his game is all about speed. Yes. Here's head. Augustine. Foul. And D Brown still struggles. Now, you and I might be out, but I don't know about D. Yep. I mean, he's a tough guy. We talked about the quarterback of Augustine. Deep Brown had teed it up against him. He looked, said he looked out in the field, saw the size of Augustine. He couldn't believe a guy that big could be a quarterback, but he's the quarterback for this team, even though Darren Williams leads it in assists. He's the engine for this team. There's Augustine. The substitutions now on the floor for Duke, Sheldon Williams, and Sean Dockery. And uh, Lou Aldang and Ewing will go out. D. Brown was telling the one of the one of the people who encouraged him throughout the shooting slump in the early part of the year was J.J. Redick of Duke. They played together on the U.S. World Junior Team and became fast friends. Time call.
An available CD MP3 player in a car you can actually afford? Now we can roll all day. Sounds all good, day. huh? Meet the surprisingly big Chevy Aveo. We can all day. With the surprisingly big five year, 60,000 mile powertrain promise. The new Chevrolet's an American revolution. In the sea of online investing, only one place knows how to satisfy the hungriest of traders. That's Power E-Trade. With flat 999 commissions, the industry-leading two-second execution guarantee, and dedicated service for active traders. And now you can attack the markets with 50 free trade commissions. If you could use the number one site for active traders, why on earth wouldn't you? Call 1-877-E-TRADE2 or visit GetPowerETrade.com today. Will my car be ready this afternoon like you promised? Yes. Will you use a bunch of lingo I won't understand? No. Will you try to sell me something I really don't need? No. Do you like Broadway show tunes? No. Visit your neighborhood Midas mechanic now for lifetime guaranteed brake pads or shoes. Just $89.95, including installation. Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. For mechanics known for their work and their word. Trust the Midas touch. It's all here on CBS. The most watched new drama, the most watched new comedy, and the most watched drama on television. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. 14.53 to go in this one. The winner gets Xavier on Sunday afternoon. Duke leads Illinois 46-44. They were up by one at the half. And D. Brown uh, is going to stay on the floor. Looks like it's not a hamstring problem, more like uh, in the nature of cramps. You know, I'll know he's got a problem when he stops talking. <laughs> he is a chatterbox, and he is a lively guy. They say his dad is just the same. Sits in the orange crush section at the home games, but he's going to gut it out. Tough guy. He's playing another tough guy, Chris Duhon. Underneath, Sheldon Williams for Duke. And Duhon with the aggressive dribble drive to set it up. And that's seven assists for the senior captain for Duke, playing with those badly bruised ribs. He has yet to attempt a shot tonight, but he's got six rebounds and seven assists. And D. Brown stays on the floor, fighting cramps for Illinois. Here's Brown, looked a little quicker on that spurt. Basket not good. Randolph goes over Roger Powell. And it's saved by Shavlik Randolph. Duke 48-44. Nice, nice play. save. Here's Darren Williams, D. Brown. <laughs> How about those wheels then? He's, he's okay on the offense. It hurts coach on the other end. But what a play by Augustine. Down on the deck, and then the presence of mind to flick it forward to Williams. All right, here you got uh, the sophomore D. Brown on the senior Chris Duhon. Alley oop underneath. Williams. floor Ooh. back to a four-point game Duke lost in this round each of the last two years trying to get into the Elite Eight they of course won the national title the third of their three under Mike Krzyzewski in 2001 what makes Duke so tough defensively they're an inch off the passing lane like this it almost caused you the turnover instead they get the timeout just because of the aggressive denial Dockery that time you got to move and set your gut up against Duke. New low slung worn in jeans, $80. New vintage t-shirt with perfect not trying too hard look, $48. New limited edition Adidas, $125. So I was thinking something a little more like that. Looking like a professional for your internship. Now you guys try. Priceless. Do you want me to do it again? No. Apply for an internship making a music video for Hoobastank. Go to MasterCard.com. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. I'm Solomon Wilcox. I'm told that D. Brown is suffering from cramps in his right leg. During the timeout, they are giving him fluids, trying to rehydrate him. He refused to come out of the game. On the defensive end, he's limping, but on offense, he's still able to make plays. 
and still showing that burst, but yet he's holding his legs, trying to massage the cramps out. And guys, he's a football player. He refused to come out. Now, why am I not shocked that we would lead from basketball to football, Sully? Uh, he's a quarterback. He's not a cornerback. <laughs> Solomon right on top of it. Good to see that he's able to perform now. Darren Williams guarded by Sheldon Williams now. Crossover dribble. Jumper taken. Not there. Good job of boxing out by Roger Powell. And look at Williams wide open for another look as he hustled. Boy, you give him that much time and he missed it. And Smith can't get the position on Ding. He is great without the basketball, Darren Williams, for a guy that leads them in assists. That's rather unusual. Duke, eight of nine from the field in this second half. And yet, despite that uh, terrific shooting, they're up only by four. Duke had a one-point lead at the half, 31-30. Here's Ewing over D. Brown. Got it. And the elevation. Whistle after the basket. John Cahill, the official, is going over, wants to see if it's a three oh, two, or a two. Right. That's what we're doing. A couple of bodies hit the deck. I wasn't sure what he was looking at. Check the puppies. No, I think they may have it on the line. What do you think, the right foot? Yeah. Uh-huh. You've got to be. That's a smidgen. Totally issue. Well, a smidgen's yep. enough, though, uh, as they said. All it takes. Makes a lot of good cakes, those smidgens. Yeah. All you need in this game is an occasional smidgen. Tom Jernstad just sitting alongside checking out the games and the monitor as well. And right here, the right foot, I think, Vern. Yes, right about there. Tough to tell, though, from that wide angle, isn't it? Um, They've got to be, yeah, we're going two. Two. Yeah. yeah, that's a right call, don't you think? Well, that's what's great about that rule. Getting it right, I think what coaches would agree. No arguments then. So it's a two instead of a three. The lead is six, and it's 12 28 to go in this uh, second of two games here in Atlanta earlier tonight Xavier defeated Texas tough game 79 71 this one is tough as well. well they're working Chris Duhon and that's Williams without the ball he lost him uh, one of the few lapses you'll see nice pass also from Luther head to find Darren Williams now the switch here's Duhon. Darren Williams chases him. Chris Duhon back outside in the corner. Spot up three. Dockery in and out. The tip. What a Luol Dang got it. Whoa. What a job. Oh. His effort. He made the pass and got to the rim. That is sensational for a young guy. 16 points for the freshman. The jumper from Roger Powell is good for Illinois. Boy, some big time plays are coming right now. Oh. A four-point Duke lead. Blue Devils, the top seed in the country, lost in the ACC championship this year in overtime to Maryland. They roll through the hairs. Dang again. Off the mark. Powell. Oh, what a diving play by Dockery. And he tips it to Dang. And his feet are caught up. They can't get out. He finally extricated himself. Great hustle out here. And Dockery's limping a little bit as time is called by Duke. 54 50. Quick, in the top five water polo players in the world. Okay, how about one? Yeah. I didn't start playing water polo to get famous. And the same goes for being a biology major. I like working in protein chemistry. Quick, in the top five protein chemists in the world. There are over 360,000 NCAA student-athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. 54-50 with 11-10 to go as we get set to come back to play. The Illini are trying to get back to the uh, round of eight. Knocked out in the first round, second round last year. Second half shooting Illinois, eight of 16, and the Blue Devils, 10 of 13. Uh, the play has certainly stepped up the effort. Magnificent on both parts. On the high pick and roll, they've really forced Duhan in a double, but they hit the top guy right here, Deng, who makes some good feeds or decisions. And a little tough one here. That one's off Williams and out of bounds. Time is called. No innovation, no innovation. 
get a little out of line. The best thing about a being a woman is a prerogative to have a little fun. The new Chevy Colorado Crew Cab is the biggest interior in its class. Everything's bigger in Colorado. Man, I feel like a woman. Woo! The new Chevrolet's an American revolution. The fact is, all light beers are low in carbs. Cheers on taste. It's all here. On April 16th, a man with nothing to live for will become a hero. Don't let your memories kill you. With everything to fight for. No one's ever stood up for me before. The Punisher, rated R, starts April 16th. Dad, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Tell me again how you came to this conclusion. Okay. Number one, it's a challenge. Number two, it's not what everybody else does. Okay, I'll give you that one. It's important. And as far as careers go, I'll do more. And I'll have more choices later. So when did you start talking like me? I can't believe you said that. So you've been sharing a wireless phone? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. My turn. Here you go. So you can see the problem. And I have the solution. Why share phones to save money? Right now, get a Sprint PC Vision phone for $29.99. Plus, get unlimited night minutes starting at 7 p.m. on new service plans. Sprint PCS. Greg Gumbel in New York with another scoring update for you in St. Louis. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets enjoying their biggest lead of the night at five. It's just been cut to four. We'll keep you updated. Back to Atlanta. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Dasani Water and by Midas. Ten fifty-nine to go in the before the Dukies have hit fifty-seven percent in the second half. Ten of thirteen. They've also uh, stolen the ball eight times. And Chris Duhon, the senior captain. 111th start tonight playing with those badly bruised ribs lower right back no points tonight has not yet attempted a shot he played 16 minutes in the first round game against Alabama State and was scoreless he came back with 32 minutes in the win over Seton Hall and testimony that you can win or be in a game with a guy not scoring when he does all the other things that Chris Duhon does here he's playing Williams gets himself free Daniel Williams puts it on the floor, goes inside, and there's Duhon with another rebound. Well, Darren's been getting very good looks. Sheldon Williams. Pretty. An old timer. <laughs> Looks like a play Bob from the 50s. Who breaks? Hooks, who breaks? Oh, my goodness. Out of the University of Washington. One of the guys I grew up watching play. And you told me about it. Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> they didn't double quick enough, and a nice read by Williams on the other end. Augustine. Yeah, easy call, I thought. Once he lowered his shoulder, wiped the goal out, fourth foul. Yep. There's Deng. Solid, huh? Just there and waiting. Got to make a decision quicker. And that'll come. Really a talented guy. And Jack Ingram, who had uh, about five minutes in the first half, is on. Ingram, number 50, and Augustine down with those four fouls. They're going to have help Ingram. And this is what they do. They drag the, the screen guy. Dang. Nope. And Williams... Takes uh, Roger Powell down. Here's D. Brown. They try to touch pass underneath. Jack Ingram saves it. Powell off the glass. Very nice play. And he was an aggressive play, too. Not a charge. A good, solid, firm basketball maneuver. Roger Powell has 12. I might ride Williams here with Ingram somehow. If they don't double quickly, 
I think Williams can do it there. There you go. And here's There's the, the dive. double pal. There's the dive from Lou Alding and a basket for Duke. That Krzyzewski guy's pretty smart. <laughs> Been around the block a he time sure or two. Has. He's got a few of my scouts over there. Oh, way up in the air. Boy, when he plays like this, you have to go to him. You have to put your better defender on him. This is a possessed guy right now. I have seen different games where he, he blends in and out. Tonight, very involved. Williams wants it. And there's Ingram overplaying Williams, and he picks up the foul. Uh, really, the understanding of when to read it and when to go. You can see the close by D. Brown. Helpless size-wise and even the quickness to cover. And then making the entry pass. I saw the coaches saying which way they wanted the last one, 18-5, and negating some attempts at the other end. Six of ten. Solid. Here's Redick. This is a back outside. They hand doing and Darren Williams picks him up. Now D. Brown on Chris Duhon. 8.32 to go. The winner against Xavier. There's the pass deep in the post. Shavlik Randolph spots up. Long rebound. Tracked down by Roger Powell. No Duhon again. Whatever you need, he does. I think the shooting is the only thing that might hurt his ribs, Vern. He does not look for it. I think that stretching motion might be a problem for him, but he's done everything else. Found a few ways to help his team, hasn't he? There's a nice Shavlik Randolph will go to the free throw line. Shavlik established his turf and a wonderful entry pass on the wing by Ewing. They get the great angle. You can see now all the way over there. That's the way you want the pass. Defense just unable to cover weak side late. You go over the top. You had to come from the foul line. They've just stretched you where you are at their mercy. Long rebound, and Darren Williams wants to force the tempo. Comes near side, Luther head. Roger Powell, Randolph guards him. Foul on Shavik Randolph. Well, I thought that was pretty good That's hands in there. Yes. Do you think? Uh, nice maneuver. Pretty good. And he's got the smile. That's the way you got to handle it. And that puts him in a tough situation as well. But you can see what Powell can do. He can power up or move you outside and put it on the deck. Mike Krzyzewski coaching his 800th game at Duke tonight. Five years at West Point, his alma mater. First year at uh, Duke, 81. They actually had losing records in 82 and 83. Follow the game on CBS Sportsline's Game Center and get more than just live scores. Get play-by-play -play coverage as it happens without having to refresh the page. Check it out at CBSSportsline.com. One of two. Luther Head. D. Brown. Jumper from Head. Rebound. Chris Duhon. He's got eight rebounds now. So he makes the decision whether to run or not. Uh, let's just get a little clock going here. Get the entry pass. They've been doing a great job decimating the interior. Five point game. Ewing. Oh! oh, oh, oh. A little English with the kiss. Draw that one up. I know Mike Krzyzewski's a Hall of Famer, but this isn't in his playbook. This is just great reaction, the slap away, and now you slice between defenders. A little reaction there, just solid with the English on the glass. Leave me off all the all ACC teams. <laughs> That'll show you. Ewing has a chance for one more. Junior from Missouri City, Texas, where he was a teammate. Of TJ Ford, who, if he's not busy tonight, is probably watching this game. His alma mater, Texas, losers in the first game here. There's a foul on Sheldon Williams, and Powell will go to the line. A pretty good use of the bounce there. I mean, when you think of it, Duke probably gets hurt over the years on all star teams because they're such good teams always. So somebody's going to get slight in. I'm sure that impacts on Mike and his staff. Johnny D there. How about those two point guards on either side oh, oh, of Ocho. the former Army uh, point guard? And Chris Collins is over there saying, just give it to me. <laughs> he liked to shoot it. There's Powell. Not one more. There they are. Johnny Dawkins, Johnny. who is still the all time Ocho. leading scorer in Duke history. And Steve Wojciechowski on the right, who was a defender, defensive player of the year in NCAA ball. And there's Chris Collins, who looks a lot like his dad does. Boy, and, and they must be dieting and resetting and hitting the treadmill. Or Mike doesn't give him any meal money. Those guys are slim. 
Another offensive board after the miss. Here's Darren Williams, catch and release off the iron, gets the follow. In the lane, rejected by Lou Alding. And you can see Williams not making the shot that time, determined to use the dribble nicely, but a better reaction defensively. Ingram ends up fouling. But you got to play both ends of the floor. You're trailing when you've got that length. Oh, my goodness. The ability to negate. Get it out of town. And Bruce Weber having foul problems with his tall man now. Jack Ingram has just picked up his fourth. And James Augustine is already on the bench with four. Jack Ingram, who tried to follow Bill Self around the country. He came out of San Antonio. He uh, enrolled in Tulsa to play for Bill Self. Self left and went to Kansas. Jack Ingram stayed there for two years, played for two coaches, transferred to Illinois, sat out a year to play for Bill Self. Bill Self took the Kansas job. Is he taking it personal? Jack Ingram is tired of following Bill Self. He is going to play for his own self. Uh, uh, Bill's very obviously a Jack as well. Uh, you go see that now. I just thought he point. Yep. Yes, on yes. that free throw. It's a different motion than anything else he may do. Shoots one more. Nine rebounds with badly bruised ribs. Yeah, you can see there's no spring there at all, Bill. Yeah, but he gets them both. Mike Krzyzewski's team, largest lead of the night. Great teams are often forged over the hot coals of adversity. On the eve of the big meeting, the third quarter numbers suddenly changed. But so did your presentation, automatically. You have the new Microsoft Office system. It's a Cinderella story. You've seen it on TV. One spray and doggy doo disappears. Too good to be true? Now, meet the man who invented it. That's right! And the friend who resented it. What are the odds something like that would work? Ben Stiller, Jack Black, Envy. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, April 30th. So choose on taste. Fresh, smooth, real. Bud Light. It's all here. Do you have the right truck? The best selling half ton regular. And extended cab is now available as a crew cab. Introducing the new Silverado Half Ton Crew. It's the right truck from Chevy. Like a rock. Connecting people. CSI's next murder suspect will leave you wondering if pure evil really exists. He felt like he was on fire. A new episode Thursday. Duke leads by 9, 64 55. There has been a long tradition of great point guards at Duke, and uh, tonight, Chris Duhon kind of exemplifying the effort that that position dictates. Just extraordinary, his effort blocks the shot, gets on the floor, and you can see the pain, the wincing as he gets up and inhales and exhales, and uh, look at those numbers. The free throws he made, the rebounds are career high, the assist finding people, and for those of us who have played hurt on occasion, right? it's tough to reach back, because this level is a little different he has just stepped up and led, and that's what Mike loves most about this guy. How about the little D? Into the lane, and Williams with another assist. He has not scored well. That's his sixth assist, Darren Williams, but he's only two for 11. He's had some good looks. It's nice to see D back. He can play off the ball. Step and go. Right down the lane, and the reaction just a little bit late. You can see the read by Dang. He is very alert defensively. That's the fourth foul on Luol Dang, and D. Brown off the mark with the rebound. So 64 57 nearing the 645 mark as Duke tries to get into the elite eight. Dang and Randolph both with four. Augustine 
And uh, Jack Ingram both with four for Illinois. Here's J.J. Reddick. Pulls it back and takes the three. Oh, you uh -oh. can't. The head just throws his arms down in disgust. You can't give him an inch. First double-digit lead of this ball game. And Duke hitting 75% in the second half. Well, nice Darren switch. Williams. Yeah, good help. Good help. They are really playing and prepared for Darren Williams. Little switch. But here, look at here. He's just getting a little bit late. And heads looming right there. It's just an inch is all he needs to convert. A little in rhythm. Just solid. Ball in the hands of Jack Ingram. Here's D. Brown. And a whistle foul called on Ewing. Yeah, he's trying to trail there. Hip hug. Williams is very good at using screens. We mentioned Reddick. You just see as he turns the corner, a little nickel dimer. My goodness. A breath of air. 16 foul on Duke, so still not in the uh, bonus. There's the entry pass inbound and another turnover. Well, this Illinois team does not turn it over that much. 12 per game. They had only four in their uh, decimation of Cincinnati last weekend, but 11 tonight. And uh, Chris Duhon ooh, ooh. goes to the floor yet again. You know, he's not even grimacing. Uh, Deng was the one that denied it at the other end, but here going for the ball, and this is tough. That's the side. And you can just see him. Covered a little bit. What a tough, gutty performance. Hard to breathe. Yeah. Oh, just hard yeah, to he, breathe. He is, he is struggling right now, but he's not looking. He doesn't want Mike to see him. No, you're <laughs> right. He's, he's going to sh shoot it side saddle. And just the shoulders coming down and the bandage underneath there. There it is. And the great thing, there's nothing possible that could hurt him in the future. That's the, what the examination said. Right. And they did, as we said in the first half, they x-rayed Chris Duhon twice to make sure there was no break, not that there was a lot they could do then. And here's Duhon getting a rest with 5.45 to go in the ballgame. And wincing as he sits next to Chris Collins. Darren Williams at the other end picked up those two quick fouls. He went to the bench with 14 minutes to go in the first half, and he has had an ineffective night. Five points on two of 11 for the sophomore from the Colony in Texas, who had 31 the other night. Here's the reverse and a basket for Darren Williams. He worked hard, and he went all over. He used all the screens possible. He's great without the basketball, but the thought on Duhon, it rubs off to other guys. You have a toenail problem. <laughs> right. He'll use the side. He's going to come back in. I'm sure he told Mike, I'm ready. I want to finish this game. Nearing the five-minute mark, 5.03 to go in the ballgame, and Duke, Chris Duhon is going to re-enter the fray. And Sean Dockery will uh, head out. Winner of this one against the Xavier Musketeers on Sunday afternoon for a spot in San Antonio in the final four. Yeah, yeah. Duhon has it again. D. Brown, number 11. And the head is quick to cover. Here's Deng. 15 of 21 after that miss in this half for Duke. Luther Head, number four. Guarded by J.J. Reddick. Roger Powell. Little jump hook. Augustine. In the kind of lucky with that one. Yeah, very fortunate, but in the right spot as they tried to double the box. Got right to the rim. Eight points. And a sense of urgency among the Illini fans. You can hear them in the background. Look at the offensive rebound edge. And time called by Mike Krzyzewski and the Blue Devils. Four minutes and 14 seconds to go. 69-61. We mentioned that Duke has lost in this round of 16 in each of the last two years. Now let's go back to New York for this NCAA tournament update. Here's Greg Gumbel.
69 61 414 to go and uh, the Blue Devils leading by eight. And Martin, you know we're talking about Duhon of course uh, forget D Brown as well with the cramp problem show some courage. Winner gets Xavier on Sunday afternoon the Musketeers hard fought victory over Texas. Rick Barnes ejected with two technicals with three point nine seconds to go in that one. And here's Darren Williams Let's check the five on the floor now Augustine Darren Williams Smith D Brown Luther head Daniel Ewing to JJ Reddick that one oh look at look at that ball out of bounds and D Brown couldn't save it and look at the two consoling one another the two of the guttiest guys on the floor D Brown having problems all day with the legs and Duhon right over here to acknowledge a little bit of courage on both ends of the floor. 409 to go in this one. There's the mismatch. Duhon now. Ingram's out on him. All the underneath. Oh, well, quick hands of Augustine. They really saved the hoop there. Yes. Darren Williams, big possession now. Back to Williams. Eight-point game with 350 remaining. Reddick really face guarding. He's Darren Williams not able to get free. Here he is. Ding. Augustine. Foul, and Augustine's going to the line. Well, that's really a tough play by Augustine. Catch it and take it as hard as possible. Williams with a great look. Foul on Ewing, his second. And James Augustine, the 6'10 sophomore, goes to the line where he has hit four in succession tonight. Well, you affected a few shooters, including I got Reddick. I got JJ Reddick in the first minute of the ball game. So well, at least you went down to a 63% shooter versus a 96. One more, Augustine. Three minutes and 34 seconds to go. And the time has been taken. Once again, let's go back to New York. Here's Greg Gumbel. Let's play keep away. Georgia Tech is heading. Six behind 27. And the Chevrolet players of the game, Snyder with 21, Marvin Lewis. They needed him to step up, and he had the game of his life. Absolutely. Marvin Lewis, like a senior, recognizes the last time around, and he makes the most of it. So the field is set in St. Louis. Three versus four. Georgia Tech versus Kansas. For Len Elmore, this is Gus Johnson saying so long. Well, let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, so there's your final, 72-67. Georgia Tech will play for a spot of Final Four on Sunday. A timeout, and then to Atlanta after this. Introducing the Malibu Max. The only car that offers all of this. Remote start. Sliding reclining rear seats, a 200 horsepower V6, and rear DVD. The new Chevrolets, an American revolution. He's not gone to Smith at all. That must have had some. Four to go in this one in Atlanta. Duke leads Illinois 69-62. Blue Devils were up by one at the half. Ended that lead to as many as ten in this half. A foul play Illinois team. That was part of the problem. And then this Duke Blue Devil team, Bill Raftery, in the second half, they have been brilliant shooting the basketball. Shooting, passing, setting the low post play up in extraordinary fashion. Their high low was effective. Also, the ability defensively to create turnovers. Remember last week that Illinois shot 64% in uh, ousting Cincinnati from the tournament? Well, tonight in the second half, Duke 15 of 21. And that equates 
to a 71% field goal average. A seven point Duke lead as they try to get into the Elite Eight for the first time since they won the national championship in 2001. And what a terrific, gutty performance we've seen tonight from the captain who has the ball in his hands right now, Chris Duhon, playing with these badly bruised ribs. You see Illinois extend for floor. Trying to create a little havoc or a quick shot. And this has been the play here. You see the load up by Williams. Deng's been able to dump it down consistently. Chris Duhon has played 30 plus minutes tonight. Four points, nine rebounds, and eight assists, and a hell of a ball. And the possession arrow goes in the direction of Duke. Now let's check the foul problems for this team. Williams, Augustine, and Ingram for Illinois with four each. Dang and Randolph, four apiece. Ewing has two. Here's Reddick, pump fake. Puts it up. Perfect. You know, he was perfectly square, and he's shaking the shoulders. He went left and got perfectly still on release. So important when you're a jump shooter. Practice that shot in the driveway from the time he was a boy. In Roanoke, Virginia, Cape Spring High School, J.J. Reddick, one of the best pure shooters in college basketball. And the pump fake set it up for him. He drew two and nailed it. Here's D. Brown. Had cramps earlier in this half, but stayed in the game. Darren Williams held in check tonight. That one rattles out. He's not been able to get a good, clean look with the jumper. When he has, he has rushed them. Duke makes it use time with their defense, and now they'll use some time on the offense. 2.15 to go. Blue Devils underneath. Nice Reddick down. comes back outside, and they've got 15 on the shot clock. And he knew too much traffic, and the clock's in their favor. Two to go. Xavier awaits the winner. That one off the rim. Darren Williams. Here's Roger Powell. Jumper, Luther Head, no, J.J. Reddick. Winner gets Xavier. Xavier defeated Texas earlier tonight, 79-71. To get into the round of eight for the first time in school history, over and back. Turnover, one of the few that have hampered Duke tonight. Mike Krzyzewski a little angry he's intense and he well, you know that's a possession he didn't want to give up control the clock he's fiery he's demanding and he's extremely effective well this Illini team came in having won 14 of 15 the one loss in the Big Ten championship game to Wisconsin but tonight game but this hot shooting Duke team has uh, controlled the second half and we've got 110 to go Duhon, Ewing. Got the spread. Final minute. There's the trap. Timeout called by Duke. 53.2 remaining. Top seed in the Atlanta region. 10 point lead. Disciplined investing. It's not about following the crowd. At T. Rowe Price, our independent research means we're not deceived by every market ripple, and we don't chase every fad. Over 65% of our mutual funds beat their one, five, and 10-year Lipper averages. We have the experience to know what works and the insight to find real opportunity. Low-cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Check the CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Field goal percentage, Duke 66% in the second half. Get complete tournament coverage at cbsportsline.com. Well, we are moving into the round of eight, the Elite Eight, and tomorrow on CBS from Phoenix, the first game, Alabama uh, will take on UConn, a tip time of 4.40 Eastern time, and for Oklahoma State out of the Big 12 against St. Joe's. Outlasted Wake Forest last night. That's a 7.05 tip time in East Rutherford tomorrow night. How about Alabama? Chuck Davis with a big game. Ernest Shelton as well. Playing good defense. And speaking of defense, how about the people at the shots? 3 for 13 for Darren Williams, who's a terrific shooter. Part of the learning experience, though, at this level. 
At the shot clock goes to zero. It's off the front rim, but there's no Duke there, Duke player there. So here's uh, Darren Williams. Three of 13, as Bill just mentioned tonight. So much for my theory on the long jumper. How about Tuhan? I mean, I was surprised he was able to loft it up there. D. Brown. That's for three in and out. 25 seconds to go. Tipped and controlled by Duke. Blue Devils are going to advance. They won the title in 2001. They got knocked out by Kansas last year, by Indiana the year before. But they are going to meet Xavier here Sunday afternoon. Mike Krzyzewski coaching his 800th game for the Blue Devils of Duke. And he's now won his 620th of those 800. And his overall win total goes to 693. Duke and Xavier, a one seed against a seven seed, the ACC and the Atlantic 10. They will meet here Sunday afternoon. Roger Powell, 15 points and eight rebounds, our Chevy MVP of Illinois, and Chris Duhon with a, a really gutty effort tonight. 10 rebounds, eight assists. He played 37 minutes. He's the winner from Duke. For Bill Raftery and Solomon Wilcox, I'm Vern Lundquist saying so long from Atlanta. Our final score, 10 Duke. A presentation of CBS Sports. We'll go to New York and Greg Gumbel after this message. I am not a plumber. I am not a carpenter. I am not an electrician. We know you're not. Next time, come see us first. Ace, the helpful place. Critics are calling Taking Lives the best film of its type since Silence of the Lambs. Pitt would be proud. You'll be guessing all the way till the end, and you'll still be wrong. Taking Lives, rated R. Now playing. New low-slung worn-in jeans, $80. New vintage t-shirt with perfect not trying too hard look, $48. New limited edition Adidas, $125. So I was thinking something a little more like that. Looking like a professional for your internship. Now you guys try. Priceless. Do you want me to do it again? No. no. Apply for internship making a music video for Hoobastank. Go to MasterCard.com. This is Wendy's headquarters, and they sent me a letter. Dear Mr. Wendy, that's me. Thanks for your kind words. Yes, Wendy's hamburgers are delicious because we make them fresh when you order them. And you're right, our classic double with cheese does rock, especially the combo. But to your self-appointed title of Mr. Wendy, unofficial spokesman, our lawyers insist that you cease and desist from representing us. That's him. It's uh, carpet speak for keep up the good work. Hey, you! Wendy's classic hamburgers. It's better here. Hey! Here's what's coming up next here on CBS, your late local news, followed by the Late Show with David Letterman, and then the Late Late Show. That's what's coming up here on CBS. The game just completed in Atlanta. What a performance by the Duke Blue Devils. 72-62 over Illinois. Duke now 17-4 and in Sweet 16 games. And this was a game, we talked about it right at the very top of the day, this was a game that you thought it was a possibility. Illinois could win this game. Well, they certainly put up a terrific fight, but Duke was fabulous in that second half, defensively and also so the way they shot the ball. And great toughness. Chris Duhon is starting to look a lot to me like Mateen Cleaves of Michigan State. Just a pure winner, an amazing leader, a career-high 10 rebounds on, on bruised ribs. That's really impressive. All right, so that regional final will take place on Sunday. The uh, Duke Blue Devils have qualified to play Xavier. And uh, just a moment ago, Solomon Wilcox had a chance to talk with Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski. Coach K, first of all, congratulations. Thanks. Your 11th trip to the Elite Eight, just a wonderful performance. Yesterday you told us this isn't a great team, but it is a good team. What makes them so good? Well, they have a lot of courage, and we played a team that had a lot of courage. I thought Illinois really knocked us back with the whole first half, and uh, they're very quick, a good basketball team. 
And this kid on your left, Chris Duhon, had a courageous performance uh, in leading us. And then we got the ball inside more in the second half and we're able to pull ahead. What can you say about Chris Duhon's performance, finding a different way to help you win the game? Well, I, I, I'm not sure anyone can really. Re I, he's in such uh, so much pain. And for him to just put his head down and say, look, I'm going to take the ball to the basket. I'm going to die for a loose ball. I'm going to set the example for my teammates. And that's what you want your leader to do. All right, Coach, congratulations. Return to Chris Duhon. You're a senior. Didn't want your career to come to an end in this game today. With the bruised ribs, how difficult was it to go out and perform the way you did? Oh, it's tough, especially playing a physical team like Illinois. Um, you know, they you know play real physical. You have to go around a lot of screens and, you know, you take a lot of contact. But, uh, you know, I wanted to be out there. I wanted to be out there leading my team, and uh, I'm not going to let a set of bruised ribs stop me. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, indeed, to the Duke Blue Devils by 10 over Illinois. The late game in St. Louis this evening, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, minus the services of star B.J. Elder, held on to beat Nevada 72-67. Tech in the Elite Eight for the first time since 1990. A timeout here. We'll continue to travel the road to the Final Four after this.